Good morning everyone. Hopefully you're enjoying the ease of some of our restrictions and are able to see some people again. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, it's good isn't it to be able to catch up with friends finally. Um, we're, we're going this week to be looking at the series on forgiveness and uh, to kind of kick us off on the series I thought I'd ask Jen to read from Psalm 32 for us. Thanks Jen. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Thanks, Jen. Uh, you know, the thing I like best about Christianity is forgiveness. Uh, I've always been a person with a sensitive conscience. Um, I've always felt guilty when I knew, knew I'd done the wrong thing. Indeed, the first lie I can remember telling was when I was in kindergarten. Uh, I got into trouble at school for not finishing a task and had been sent to the headmistress. And to my shock and horror, I was given a sharp tap on the behind with the handle of a feather duster and sent to the back, back to class. So at the tender age of five, that was, that was pretty bad. But when I got home, uh, John Chapman was staying with us and he asked me, as he always did in jest, how many times did you get the cane today? I said, none, <laughs> but I knew it wasn't quite true and I felt awful. And you know, I carried that guilt for a few days and then I told mum of the lie. Um, confessing the sin brought relief. Now, Chapo laughed with me years later when I shared the story with him. Now, of course, it's a trivially, trivial example of sin, isn't it? And therefore not all that hard to share. But I can tell you there are plenty of things I would never share with you that have made me feel guilty over the years. Things that I know have hurt others and deserve God's punishment. Let's just imagine for a moment that the top 100 of uh, Rod Chisholm's failures were recorded in full digital colour on this DVD. Uh, do you think I'd let you watch it? Um, if this were your DVD, would you be happy for me to watch it? I can tell you I'd be mortified and I suspect you would be as well. See, if we're honest with ourselves, we all admit that, we'll all admit that we've done things we're not proud of. Uh, indeed, things we're deeply ashamed of. We've all done things that have hurt other people, maybe even deeply. Sin is a problem in that it wrecks our relationship with those people, but it's also a problem in that it affects our relationship with God. Now, the Bible makes pretty clear that God hates sin. He hates it when we ignore him and do life our own way without regard for him. It hurts him, and almost invariably it hurts other people as well. The reality is that when we've ignored God's way, being selfish and hurt others, we need forgiveness, uh, not just from them, but also from God. See, as human beings, we were created to enjoy friendship with God and other people, but without forgiveness, we remain guilty and cut off from friendship with God and with others. And that has an impact now in terms of our relationship with those around us and our friendship with God. And to miss out on friendship with God because of the wrong stuff we do now is tragic. But it's also a tragedy when we die and find ourselves cut off from God and the good things he gives us for eternity. Well, is forgiveness possible? In Psalm 32, David shows us that it is. He says, Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them and in whose spirit is no deceit. So how do we get to there? What's the way forward? How can we find forgiveness like David did? Well, tomorrow we're going to look further at the scriptures and we'll find out. We hope to see you then. See you, see you then. then.